Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making video tutorial number 16 about Unicenta, the point of sale cash register program that I'm demonstrating with Linux Ubuntu. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing how you can split an existing ticket. First, let me open up to make this larger, 16 by 9. Now I'm going to go to the sales screen, and on the sales screen, I will make an order. Let me get rid of what was up there. And I'm going to start over and let me see if there's anything in layaway. No. I've got absolutely nothing hanging in space. So I've got labor, pad, and rotor. And I'm also going to put in burger. It pops up auxiliary, veggie, wheat. Go to condiments. I'm going to get drink, fries. Um, condiments, let's see, cheese, hot sauce. Pretty good size order and it belongs to no particular one person. That's because it just has a date on it, but I could assign it to a person and I'm going to hit execute to show my whole list of people. I've got John Doe and John Smith. They came in together and I'm talking to John Doe and I say okay. And now it belongs to John Doe. Now, I can suspend this and talk to another person, and it's suspended. And if I want to retrieve it and resume, I do it like that. Well, let us say now that they decide they're going to buy the burger on the spot, but that they're going to come back at a later day to do the breaks. Well, I can just hit split sale, and when I do that, I get this small, let's see, there we go. I'm going to move over the burger and I'm going to hit split and it moves over the burger and its auxiliary items. Goes to the next line, next line, next line, next line everything is over to the right it's split in half the break is on the left the burger stuff is on the right both of them now belong to John Doe but I can transfer this over to clear entry clear entry execute John Smith okay now John Smith owns this and when I hit OK, it says it costs $7.31. It defaults to cash. If I were to hit OK right now, the computer assumes that the customer handed me exact change of $7.31 even. But if I put in a denomination, say $10, it computes change, then I hit OK. And it vanishes from the order. That's because it's sold. So, if I go to the printer receipt, there you can see it. It went to the customer. Let me go up. It sold to John Smith. It's got the date and the time. And it lists all of the items, how he paid, and the change. If I go back to the sales screen, it's not up there because I have to retrieve it and here it is and then I can go to a new item by hitting new sale and I can say sell somebody fries and a drink and let's say that the lady's name is Maggie Smith and then I can say she changes her mind she says my friend came in I want two drinks and I want two fries and she says okay and she paid with a fifty dollar bill it computes her change and there she is. 
couple days have passed and now I retrieve the order hanging in space and he says let's get two rotors okay and he pays with a 50 and a 50 okay and that's it and that is how you suspend and resume an order and split an order and reassign the order to different customers my name is pop this is video tutorial number 16 about unicenta the point of sale program thank you very much